Hello, hello. Hi guys, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. Good evening, everybody. How you doing? How you doing? Fine. Is everything all right? Hi, Christian. Good evening, Gabby. Thank you so much for joining. How are you guys? Judy, hello, Noemi. Good evening. Helen, how are you guys? How is your Tuesday going? Everything okay? Very well, teacher. <laughs> Very well. Okay. So that is really good to hear. Is it working, teacher? No, Helen, why do you work? <laughs> no, it's okay, Miss. I totally get that. I totally understand. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, where are you? Are you doing like inventory? As an inventory or something? No, teacher. Oh, it looks like inventory. Okay, no worries, Miss. I totally get that. So still, if you have time and if you can participate, that would be just wonderful. That would be amazing. No problem. Thank you, um, Helen, for making the time and, and joining. Andrea, good evening. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you're doing great. Um, so guys, uh, how is your Tuesday? Everything okay? Everything good? I'm super glad to have you like one more day. Um, tenemos una tarea para today, right? We have a little homework for today that we are going to be checking later. Uh, we do have a, a couple of things to be checking today. Gracias, guys, por activar la cámara. Thank you so much for activating your camera. Rafa, hi, Rafa. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi, how you doing? So great to see you, very well. I'm glad to see you. <laughs> Guys, una pregunta, ¿me escuchan doble? Do you listen to my voice twice or just like the normal one? No, teacher, normal. Normal, oh, teacher. Normal, normal. Okay. Thank you, guys. What happens is that um, I'm recording the class with my cell phone. So I'm not sure si me escuchan eh, doble in any moment. Please let me know. Uh, but, uh, you know, desconectarme so I can unplug um, or, you know, not join from my other device. So, guys, um, today we are joining or we are starting session number two. Vamos a trabajar un poquito con el vocabulary uh, that we had from yesterday. Teníamos que revisar un poquito, like, how to say a couple of words or the meaning of words like discontinue, right? Um, etc. que está dentro de nuestro material. If you didn't have the time, no se preocupen, no worries. Still, we are going to work on that. Uh, but to get started, guys, uh, I want to um, begin today with, give it one moment. I want to begin with one activity here. Uh, that is actually this one. So normally I, I want to get started with a speaking activity. I want to know your opinion. I want to know what you think about this one. Um, and uh, I have a debate. Um, I don't know if this is a silly thing. No sé si llamarle uh, a silly question, right? Like a dumb equation, a silly question, probably. But this one says, are bad words bad? Guys, what do you think? What is your opinion about bad words? Um, what do you think about swear? You can say bad words, you can say swear. So what is your opinion on swear words? Do you agree? Do you think it's okay? Is it normal? It is not okay. Uh, guys, do you swear? Do you normally swear in Spanish? Um, I disagree. You disagree. Okay, so bad words are not bad. People are bad. Uh, oh. The words not. Oh, <laughs> no, but there are words that are bad. <laughs> okay, interesting. So words are not bad, people is bad. Guys, what do you think? What do you think about this silly question? Are bad words bad? What, what is your uh, opinion? 
is the so how do you say intention? Ah, the, the intention, mm -hmm. okay. the purpose. The, the pen, the intention. The intention, the purpose yeah. of a person. Okay. Guys, in Spanish, can you give me an emoji, please? If you swear a lot, do you normally swear in Spanish? Um, I. Hi, e hi, everyone. E e hi. Everyone use bad words in yeah. any conversation, but uh, we have we have to choose the occasion to 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 say that, right? Oh, okay. Angelica, good evening. Oh, okay. So everybody uses bad words. That's a very interesting point so. of view. Okay, guys, what yeah. would you say about this? Do you say bad words? Sometimes. <laughs> okay, how often? Always. Like, like every uh, like every day, every, day. every hour, uh, or yeah. usually, many, or like many, super. Many hours. Many hours. <laughs> Probably, yeah. many, an hour. hours. <laughs> so many in an hour. Okay. So okay. Uh, so Kristen said that it is not worse, but people, the ones who are bad. Um, you also mentioned that it depends on the purpose, right? And uh, Adolfo said that this is like very common that everybody says bad words, but it depends on the uh, scenario, it depends on the place. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. but guys, yeah. I are of bad course. words bad. What do you think? What are your thoughts? Are they good? Are they necessary? Um, are they common? It's are they important? It isn't, isn't necessary, of course, but um, in so many times uh, you have you have to face somebody, uh, you have to face any situation, and you can use that. But you have to you have to make the difference when when you speak uh, for for everybody. For example in a group right mm -hmm. okay and that's, the stadium the stadium is very oh. common of course okay yeah and everybody you know gets um yeah taken when, when by the you, moment uh-huh rafa yes when taken when at you're the moment right friends, when when you're with friends who talk like mm -hmm. um, i i need a six <laughs> so, are, are bad words. <laughs> so with, when you are with friends, you normally yes. say bad words. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Some so with friends, are, you feel depends. free. <laughs> it depends on yes. your friends, or it depends on what? Depends on um, friends. Oh, okay. So it depends on your friends. All right. Guys, what do you think? What about the rest of you? What are your thoughts? Uh, Very interesting. Lots of friends. And sometimes I use it. <laughs> sometimes with your friend, you use them. But my closest friends. Okay, so with your close friends, you normally use them. Okay, okay, sounds good. Mm. Anybody else? Okay, I have heard men talking about these guys. What about women's point of view? Girls, do you normally swear? Is this common for you or not that common? Hi, Daniel. Good evening, Iris. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Great to what have is... you guys. I'm doing great. What about you? Nice. Ceci, good evening. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. Um, girls, uh, I want to listen to women's power, guys. What do you think about this one? Um, Because men are like, yeah, we swear. Girls, what about you? Do you normally swear? Do you say bad words? 
<laughs> Good evening. Uh, yes, I usually do with my closest friends, okay. but I think like it's like uh, I use it when I I really need to handle with something something that really makes me mad. Okay. But meanwhile, I don't disrespect someone or offend anyone. I think okay. there it's it's not like too bad. It depends. Uh, okay. It depends. Obviously, you are not going uh, uh, saying uh, nine swear words and one uh, come the word. So uh, I, I know have... some people who do that. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. I, nine, I nine, it's not nine by ten. What you're saying in a in a in a proper place, uh, not okay. when you have to be like respectful and uh, or in a formal organization or reunion. Uh, in a meeting, uh, yeah. okay, but but, but you don't use bad words or swear words uh, to talk to people, just about situations in general? Just with my closest friend, uh, but not with uh, common people <laughs> that I, it's the first time that I met them, obviously uh -huh. no. Okay, okay, so that is good to know. So it is common, I guess. All right, thank you, guys. What about the rest of you? Um, obviously, I'm not going to ask you to tell me the sweat words you use <laughs> because this is, you know, uh, formal. Um, what? I think so. Environment, yes, Adolfo, tell me. Yeah, I think so. That bad word is according to the profession. Uh, so many times because okay. uh, in my case, in my case, I studied agriculture and mm -hmm. and suddenly you can say the uh, bacaputa <laughs> uh, uh, and What's you use you, use yeah in some time when you are in the uh, and the in the field mm -hmm. uh, you can find for example uh, ox oxen. Mm -hmm. cows and um, you can say hey back up and the, back uh -huh. up. <laughs> that word <laughs> yeah but i think so does that... it mean does it mean anything what does it have a, a special meaning that word that no expression? no it's not it's not it's not a special expression but you can you usually use bad words in the field Oh, okay. So what you're saying is that it depends on the area uh, where you work. Uh, yeah. Okay. Depends on the area. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, because to be honest, I, I probably use them like in everyday situation, not all the time, just from time to time, <laughs> but I never use them like in classes, for example. I think I have never yeah. um, used them because of the environment. So yeah, I kind of agree with you. Uh, guys, what are some what are some safe words? What are some words that are not considered bad that we can use in English? Do you have any idea? Not bad no. words, but words that are safe. Not bad words. Uh, words that right. are okay. Yeah, I got it. Do you it, have any but... idea? No. In the Spanish, no, I don't. I case. better not ask you. <laughs> okay, but but in English, we have some safe words, uh, words that can be kind of tough, but are okay, you know. So I don't know if you have heard, for example, the expression "damn", damn that is super common. Damn, damn. So it is not a bad word. Uh, it is kind of safe, but still, it is a little bit strong. Mm, any okay. other word it's that comes to your mind? Mm -hmm. It's kind of strong, but it is not about word. Any idea? Okay. It's damn. Um... Don't tell me any F word <laughs> because they are bad. <laughs> okay. So think about yeah, it. Uh, in English, we do have some safe words that we can use in... Um, you know, formal environments, let's say. Uh, them is like, oh my God, you know, I messed it up. Mm -hmm. So uh, something went wrong, so we can say them, and, and that's, that's all right, that's fine. So we have this word, right, um, to move forward. We have the word silly, right? We have the word sword, and we have the word purpose. 
Um, so silly, can you give me a synonym for silly, guys? Can you give me like a word we can use for silly? Hi, Arnoldo, good evening. Uh, tell me, Imelda, hello, guys, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How you doing? Great to um, listen to you. Um, oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm good. I am happy to see, to uh, hear you again. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, and uh, uh, so we have a, a homework assignment, Imelda, but we're going to talk about that later. Uh, full, yes. We can use the word full, exactly. Full. So silly, right? Or full. Full, full, full or foolish. Or foolish, yes. We can use the word mm. dummy too. So they dummy. are kind of a safe words, right? We are talking about words that are okay to use. So if you want to say in Spanish, we have very strong words, but in English, uh, for example, I told you at the beginning, this question can be a little silly. So silly is kind of torpe, yeah, kind of dummy. Yeah, so yes, tell me, tell me. Foolish, you say, okay. Foolish. Foolish is good. So those are safe. So some palabras como um, seguras that we can use uh, that are not disrespectful because obviously in Espanol yeah. si hay otra palabra to say this, but a bad word. <laughs> uh, then we have bad words and we have swear, right? Guys, you know that swear is like maldecir. Well, perdón, swear yeah. is um, jurar, yeah. right? But in this scenario, really? swear is maldecir. So, or malas palabras. So, yeah, it can be the opposite at the same time, you know? So, we are talking about bad words. Okay. Or oh, I'm swearing or don't swear, right? So, but también es, um, también es jurar, right? Like when you make a promise. Just swear to a person. So we can use mm -hmm. the word swear. Uh, and I'm, I'm just going to add this in the chat. So in case you want to have them. Eh, luego vamos a ver un par de uh, safe words too, you know, to increase your vocabulary. But in the meantime, I think that we are good. Um, guys, part of the, of the activity that we had for today was a little bit related to uh, vocabulary building. Uh, we have a homework assignment that was uh, the one we have in the material. So in the material, creo que alguien tiene problemas with the internet. Um, so in the material, we, yesterday we had these words. We had appeal, uh, take off, growth, uh, demand, uh, differentiate, buy out, discontinue, feature, withdraw and saturation. Um, can you tell me the ones, the words that are new for you, please? So which are the words that are new for you? The words that you don't normally use. Appeal. Okay, so we don't use appeal, all right. Any other word that you don't normally use? Growth. Growth. Okay. Uh, which one? Oh, growth. All right. Growth. Withdraw. Okay. Withdraw. All right. Any other word that you're not familiar with or that I you have out. never used? I out. I out. Okay. Another one. Oh, interesting. So you're familiar with the rest. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, guys, uh, so feature uh, in English, how do you describe feature? What is the meaning of feature? Is a characteristic of a thing. Very good, yes. So a feature is a characteristic, exactly. What about saturation? How do you describe this? How do you define saturation? 
I understand that is a, a situation when 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 are too much too much product or services. Oh, very good. Okay. Yes. So saturation is that too much, right? For example, in photography, so too much color. Uh, in the sales, uh, probably too many products. So yes, demand. What is well? We can have different meanings for demand. What do you understand by demand? Will you request a product or service? Oh, very good. Okay, when you request something, sales. Um, sales. Hmm. Yes, it is related to sales. Yes, yes, yes. Like what everybody wants, right? Um, so what everybody think uh, they need. What about this one? This continue. What do you understand by this continue? Good evening. Hi, Carlos. Good evening. Hi. Great Good to have you. How are you? Thank you. I'm fine, thanks. Great Lucas. to hear you. Loopies I'm sorry. Are discontinued. Uh, I'm sorry, Krista. That was. Uh, for example, the gloopies are discontinued. Oh yes, gloopies are discontinued. <laughs> the, exactly. The blackberry. The blackberry. Oh, blackberry. That's this. <laughs> oh, I love those examples. They are really nice. <laughs> yeah. So that means that they no longer exist. That they don't continue, right? Do you remember the 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 burrochos? I don't know if they exist anymore. The, the ones that we call burros. Burro books. Yeah, right? Like yes. from a dog. Do they yes. exist? Do they exist? Do they exist? Yes. The impact, uh, uh, how say, um, five, six years ago, and one designer from US coming, coming to El Salvador saw the burro books mm -hmm. and remain, and remain burro books. Oh. It's take, take, take the design. It's a uh, create a uh, a limited edition. In, wow! In, yeah, in, in in for in in go to sail to New York City. Wow! Uh, I'm happy two, to two, hear that. Two hundred, three hundred by pair. Wow! Two hundred, three hundred dollars. Yes, by pay. Wow. So that <laughs> sounds amazing. Because I remember those shoes for men. Yes, and they were yes. they were good, but the design was not very attractive. So I, yes. I thought they, they were discontinued. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. I thought the, they were the, discontinued, but nice. The, the designer is um how say create new colors. Oh, that was good. And the, and the how say ¿Cómo se dice en la costura? The sewing. The Let sewing me write is, it down. The sewing, mm -hmm. the sewing is different color about the leather, the leather of the shoe. Oh, yeah, it probably, it's, exactly. Probably the design was something yes, that yes. had to be changed. Okay. Mm -hmm, yes. Wow, it's, but it's I'm a, super glad. It's, it's, it's an important history. I, I, I really, I really, really about two, three days ago. <laughs> nice and thank you yeah. for sharing that because <laughs> i didn't know but i remember the shoes were really good my brothers just to have uh burro shoes because they were long lasting okay so uh we have these other words guys like appeal growth take off that has a lot of meanings buy out and withdraw so the question is what did you find in your homework guys what did you get uh, from these words, what is what did you find for appeal? What is appeal? I found different meanings, mm -hmm. but um, is uh, for commerce. I understand that is when you don't like some products, maybe or service. And you, um, huh, um, you don't like, and you put um, reclamo, 
like this. I don't know ah, if I'm okay. correct. Okay, oh, that's a very good definition. So we can use appeal uh, in the banking industry. Yes, and appeal is exactly when, for example, the bank uh, declines. So you appeal to that. Um, yes, we can use it in banking. Uh, also in prisons, when a person goes to the prison, you can appeal uh, to the judge. So yes, we can appeal. What about, but there are like more scenarios. Appeal has a lot of different meanings. Thank you for that. Guys, did you find a different meaning for appeal? I understand appeal is a noun of request. Oh, okay. So that's a request. All right. In what, uh, do you have an example for appeal? Uh, for uh, a request mm -hmm. to the, for public money, information or help. Oh, okay, okay, yes. Yeah, that is a request, something urgent, so yeah. Okay, anything else, guys? We have a lot of meanings for that word. Did you find anything the, else for appeal? The meaning that I know is like an attractive. That is right. Exactly. So we have a lot of different meanings for this one. So you mentioned this can be a request. Yes, that is right. Um, it has the idea of being urgent. So yes, that is correct. But also appeal, uh, that means attractive. So attractive. So yes, we have a lot of different meanings for the one word. Um, so it's normally, like when you say sex appeal. <laughs> yes, exactly. Like when you say yeah. sex appeal. Yeah. So appeal refers to attractiveness, right? Um, like we were talking about burro shoes. So the shoes or the boots, they were not so appealing. So no eran agradables. They were not like um, nice, cool, right? So um, that is one way we can use appeal. But also appeal is, again, in banking, so usa mucho en la industria de dinero, right? Um, we use it in prison with the police, you know, so there are like a couple of words, a couple of ways we can use them. Um, what about growth? What, is, what do you get from growth? I guess this is a little easier. Yes, Yes, yeah, exactly. It is related to grow, right? To the action, but growth is the noun. So let me let me make the difference. We have grow, that is the verb, like I grew up in Olocueta, I grew up in San Salvador, I grew up in Huayua. So grow, uh, it's the process, and growth is when we are talking about the general word, right? So we don't translate it as crecer anymore, but this would be like crecimiento. Yeah, so a company's growth, my personal, I don't say grow, but personal growth, right? So crecimiento personal, professional growth. So this is the word that we are going to be using. So it is related to growth. Uh, what, with, what's yeah? the difference between growth and growing? Oh, okay. So mm, let me just get this one. Hold on. So between growth, th, and growing, growing. This one. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. So um, in meaning, there is not like a big difference. Pero sí, cuando hablamos de gramática, because grow, this one right here. This is the verb. This is the verb, right? Um, growing. Uh, growing is the present continuous. Growing, yeah, puede ser el gerundio, puede ser in present continuous, pero también es un adjetivo. So this is considered an adjective as well. Mientras que growth, 
Then, ya vamos a ver que se hace un poquito esta parte. En growth, this other word, ese es un nombre. This is a noun. So, for example, guys, if I want to say el crecimiento del país, you know, or, or something like that, el crecimiento se ha estancado. Or, so, what would be the word that we can use? So, como es el crecimiento, I'm going to use, we have grow, growing, and we have growth. So, I'm going to use the growth of the company, right? If I went to say, oh, mi crecimiento personal es importante. So, my personal, como es crecimiento, I cannot just grow, growing, but my personal, mm -hmm. growth. So that is the one. So el significado es lo mismo, but lo usamos un poquito diferente. We use it a little bit differently. So slightly different. Ya vamos, eh, well, de hecho ya van a trabajarlo, guys. No worries. So that would be the one. Grow, growing. And uh, as you said, that is present progressive. And growth, that is the other one. Um, guys, withdraw. ¿Qué encontraron por withdraw? What did you find for this one? The first time I see is this word, it's an uh, ATM one. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Very nice. Exactly. This is at the ATM. So mm -hmm. today is the 26th, for example. In four days, you will go to the bank, you will go to the ATM, and you will say, oh, I have money. So I <laughs> withdraw the money. Exactly. So that is like take off. Um, well, take out, let's say. I always get that messed up. Okay, so you go to the ATM and you take some money out, exactly. So what we call in Spanish, like retirar, right? Um, did you find any other for withdraw? When uh, someone article is withdraw of the market, I don't know. Ah, very good, exactly. So when because something- Because how uh -huh. problem, because how problem with the, with the sale, with the product, healthy, I don't know. <laughs> yes, you have a point there, exactly. So, so we can use withdraw at the ATM because it's for money, but also we can use it uh, for a product that is taken out from the market. Very nice. Do you remember this Samsung like seven years ago that was uh, withdrawn from the market? Porque explotaba. So there were a lot of cases that if you were uh, like charging your cell phone, it simply exploded, right? I don't remember what phone it was, but it was a Samsung. I don't know if you remember, guys. So... <laughs> Uh, I remember that one. Uh, what else? Galaxy X5. Galaxy S5? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't remember the module, but I remember that that disappeared, you know, because it was super, super risky. <laughs> so that is withdrawal, right? So se eliminó or was taken out from the market. Um, there was something else in medicine, but I don't remember. Okay. Uh, take off. We have a lot of different meanings for this. What did you find for take off? Uh, take off your shoes, for oh, example. Okay. Okay. So remove. Yes. Remove some clothing. Very nice. What else, guys? We have more. Plenty more. Maybe the 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 computers when they have actually actualizas, I don't know. Oh, an update. update. Uh -huh. An update. Yes. An update. Mm, for example, um, before the computers are uh, were a desktop, and today only, for example, laptop or tablet, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, yes, I think I got your idea. Um, but yes, that is related to that, definitely. So any other guys? Hay muchos significados. There are a lot of different meanings for take off. 
So we use it for remove, as Christian said, removing clothing. Uh, Noemi mentioned something related to computers, laptops. Yes. So, maybe, um, yes. Sorry, maybe the example is more for discounting, but takeoff is maybe, I don't know if I am correct, but is when no you have discount, discount in a price, maybe? Okay. Um, I, I found yeah. another definition like a discount, uh, discount or quitar. Or oh. Two yes. meanings. Remove. Two yes. meanings. Remove okay. or, uh, or discount. Oh. I, I, I found two definitions. Did you find an example with um, when it refers to discount? Uh, maybe when you buy a product, for example, in a ten dollars, and you have a discount in eighty percent or ten percent. Oh, okay. So let me see discount. But that will work. Successful. Okay. So um, discount. Uh, let me let me investigate a little bit more on this uh, when it refers to discount because I'm not quite sure, but yes, that could be. Rafael says despegar. Very nice. So take off. Also, we use it for despegar and in two different environments. Number one, so we can use it with an airplane, right? So when the airplane take off, so that is one. But the other one, it refers to products. And I think that probably no MS idea is related to this one. Uh, imagine, for example, you have a new product, right? Imagine that you have, um, I don't know, Amazon, for example. And just two people, three people know Amazon. Suddenly, you know, the company becomes super popular super famous and the company takes off. So it is very similar to an airplane and takeoff is just like this, right? So go up and become famous. So see as despegar, it is definitely despegar in terms of money, in terms of being famous. Um, so yeah, we can use that one as well. So we can use it for airplanes in the sense of despegar, and we can use it for companies that become famous um, or become, I don't know, that people get rich and all of that. So let me just remove this. Okay, that is take off. Buy out, guys, this is the last one. So any idea what this is? Did you check, did you find anything with buy out? Sure. Yes. In, in takeoff, it's possible using in the past. Yes, take definitely. Off. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, remember that they are verbs, so you can modify them. For example, in a peel, I can have a peeled. In withdraw, I can have withdrew. Take Taking off, off, I can have took off. Exactly, taken off. off. Like, for example, if I want to say, oh, mi compañía empieza a despegar, so my company is taken off. Yes. Or I want to say, for example, um, I don't know, my that company se espera que, you know, que despegue, que las ventas despeguen el próximo año. So it will take off. So yes, of course I can modify it and there's no problem. So I can do the same with all possible birds. Mm -hmm. uh, guys, what about the other one we have is buyout. Do you have anything for this one? Um, buy out. <laughs> when it's sold out, I think so. When it is sold out, okay. Could be. 
Anything else, guys? <laughs> Creo que acá, here, uh, what is, you know, making it hard is because of the hyphen. So, no está separada, but, uh, so we have a little hyphen. Tenemos un pequeño guión in the middle of it. Yeah. So, that makes it a little different. So, but yes, uh, sold out, that, that can definitely be it, right? So, when a product is completely uh, off, so oh, out of the market, yeah. so sold out. Any other? Uh, out of the market, yeah. What else, guys? What did you get? Commerce is um, by a uh, uh, part of another things, maybe. A part of another things. Yes. In what sense? Sorry. I mean, yes, yes, but give us a little more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, my neighborhood are noising in this moment. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. No, no worries. Um, That's okay. Uh, I, I understand that it's by, but a little part of maybe can be by a part of a company or yes. part of the, uh, I don't know, um, Acciones, I don't know how to say yes. yes, 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 exactly, exactly, that is the one. So buy out, si lo podemos encontrar como sold out, eh, but por lo general es cuando está juntito, sin este guión, right? Um, and buy out, as Noemi said, Perfect. yeah, it's buy a part, or tenemos la palabra shares, right? So buy shares Share. of a company, or buy, there is another word that is a stock, right? Like, for example, guys, no sé si compraron bitcoins. I don't know if you kind of bought bitcoins. So in a way, it is considered like a stock, right? So like the stock market and all of them. So, yeah, that is the one. Okay, guys, I know that uh, probably el vocabulario es un poquito, you know, kind of weird, kind of strange. Uh, but it is important, too, que sepamos de diferentes aspectos de diferentes fields. And, you know, that we can uh, be able to communicate in different scenarios. So um, let's do the following, guys. We have here a couple of words, but of course, I want to make sure that we are using the words properly. So give me just a moment. And I'm going to share my screen and we are going to work with these words. So um, we have a peel, right? Uh, we have appeal. Vamos a utilizar la palabra appealing. So I'm going to modify the word a little bit here. We're going to use this one. Uh, we have take off. And I want to use, I want you take to off. use this one in airplane. And I want you to use this one in a company too, right? Or in a product or whatever you choose, whatever you decide. The other word that we have it's growth, so I want you to use the word just growth. And um, I want you to use both words, growing as well. Um, so we have um, withdraw. So Buy out. But withdraw. I want you to use withdraw uh, in money, okay, when we are talking about money. And I want you to use withdraw okay. when we are talking about removing a product from the market or removing a song, for example. Oh, I like this one, um, Bebito Fiu Fiu, you know. I, I don't know why that song is stuck in my head all the time, guys, but that was withdrawn, you know, from Spotify. So la removieron, right? That was removed right. from it. So that yes. is removed, right? Withdrawn. So la, la extrajeron because withdrawn. of the copyrights. Mm -hmm. So that is withdrawn. Um, mm. 
And I mm. want you to use the word. I have just one more, I think. So we're not gonna use buyout, but I want you to use instead. Buyout. Um, give me a sec. And I want you to use just one more. That is feature. Okay. Okay, guys. So what we will do is very, very easy. Number one. Um, so I want you to use the words, right? Like in examples, in examples, sorry, like in sentences. But if you take a look, for example, we have take off. So vamos a crear un ejemplo. In take off, cuando hablamos de aviones, for example, el transportation. And take off, cuando hablamos de compañías. We have growth. So, como podemos utilizar growth, I want you to give us an example. And also, como utilizar growing. Yeah, in any scenario. Uh, so, recordemos que es el mismo significado, yes. Está relacionado, yes. Son primitos, but no se usan igual. Uh, withdraw, cuando hablamos de dinero. But withdraw to, cuando hablamos de remover algo, especially from the market. And the last one that is feature, that as you said, uh, feature is characteristic, right? And uh, things related to that. Guys, uh, appealing. Uh, remember that appeal, as you said, appeal si es un, un request. Um, appeal is like cuando no estoy de acuerdo with something, eh, especially en una corte con la policía. Y yo digo, no, yo voy a apelar. So that is appealing, right? Pero también appealing, as we said, es algo yeah. atractivo. So when we say appealing, in this scenario, es atractivo, right? Something appealing, algo que es atractivo para nosotros. So I want you to use appealing como adjetivo, something that is appealing to you, something that is attractive to you. Okay, guys, vamos a, oh, I'm sorry. So, um, I'm sorry, my whiteboard is not working. Oh my God, what happened? Okay, guys, alguien le tomó captura? Did you get the words? Okay, perfect. Thank you, Rafa. No, sorry. <laughs> Rafa, can you do me a favor? Uh, mi whiteboard desapareció. I don't know what I did here. La puede compartir, please. Can you share that one out? Creo que está permitido. Yes, you can share that. Thank you. Okay, guys, so these are the ones. Please take a screenshot. Vamos a trabajar in small groups. No es necesario que las escriban, but if you want to, no problem. You can always write them down. But sobre todo, quiero que las practiquemos, right? I want you to use these words in examples. So appealing, what can be appealing? Take off, como lo puedo utilizar, what sentence, what example can I give, right? And then guys, um, vamos a, a preguntarles to a couple of people. So, si necesitan escribirlo, you're good. If not, solamente lo hacemos oral, right? The idea is use the words. Usamos en diferentes escenarios. Guys, uh, tenemos cinco minutos, you got five minutes. Go, please. And then I let you know when time is over. So there you go. In round number two. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm going to move him. Uh, Um, okay, uh, so Iris, eh, Gaby, creo que está en camino, right? Um, Arnoldo, no sé si está trabajando. I don't know if you're working, guys. Still driving, teacher. Okay, okay, no problem. So when you 
get home, probably you can uh, participate. That's good. Be safe, please. Hi, Judy.
Alrighty, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for coming back. So we were discussing a couple of these words like uh, growth, appeal, or appealing, right? Uh, we were also checking uh, take off, withdraw, etc. cetera, uh, to talk about different scenarios. Uh, first, then first, uh, guys, ¿Hay alguna palabra que les dé dificultades? Is there any word that is giving you like some issues or that que considera que les costó un poquito utilizarlo? Uh, I'm sorry, Adolfo, no sé si you're like saying something, but you're mute. <laughs> es de silencio, you're mute there. Uh, for me, grow. Okay, so growth. All right. Guys, what about the rest? What word gave you some issues? What word gave you some difficulties? So growth. Guys, uh, para los demás, for the rest. Wow, I'm, I'm super happy that you got it. All right. Yes, uh, the word grow and growth. Son bastante um, confusas, I would say. No difíciles, but we always get the question. ¿Qué voy a usar? How am I going to use it? So um, just to get it a little bit easier, growth se considera noun. Entonces, normally, lo utilizamos, uh, puede ser con la expresión o con la partícula do. So we can say the growth, right? Esa es como una forma fácil de verlo. Y de usarlo y de recordarse cómo usarlo too. So, the growth immediately means el crecimiento. So, we can say the personal. And then, here, le podemos agregar qué tipo de crecimiento, right? So, for example, the countries. Uh, the countries. Wait. So, the countries growth. My personal growth. My professional growth. If I want to say about el crecimiento de los niños, so the children. The eh, children growth. Growth, exactly. Uh, in the case of Adolfo, for example, that he works with plants. So, puedo decir el crecimiento de las plantas, right? So, the plants yes. uh, growth, right? So, normalmente lo usamos con algo más. We use it with something else o de lo que estamos hablando. No yeah. es un verbo, right? This is not a verb, sino es más como el que, right? So, the growth. Uh, and grow, obviously, si lo puedo usar en presente, pasado, futuro. Grow, I can have grew, mm, and I grew. can have will grow, exactly. Like, oh, yo crecí poquito. I grew just a little bit. Uh, mi economía, no mi dinero no creció, you know, mi cuenta del banco no creció. So, es más como incrementar, you know, grow. So, that is the one. Ahorita, de hecho, vamos a, a verlos. In the following exercise we have right here. So, um, the exercise says, look at the definitions of the stages of the product life cycle match them to the appropriate phase and check your answers with a classmate. So, tenemos parte de este vocabulario here. Maturity, no, here. grow, you are mute. I can sell. decline, and mark the introduction. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. So, uh, we have the definitions. And let's, let's try to match them. So, uh, let me see. I can't escuch out today. Oh, Carlos, please. Carlos, can you help us with the first, with letter A? Can you read the definition, please? Okay. Product is no longer attractive for many customer sales stop. And the, pro and the producers start making decisions about discontinuing the product, buying out competitors, or selling it to another pro producer. Thank you so much. So guys, what is this? The product is no longer attractive. What do you think? I think it's decline. Uh, much with decline. Decline, all right. So the product is no longer attractive. Uh, the product is discontinued, the word that we had before. Okay, very nice. 
The second one, guys. Let's go with the second one. Angelica, please, let me listen to your beautiful voice. Can you read letter B for us? Okay. At this stage, a new product is brought into the market. The demand of the product might be low. And the marketing effort try to develop branding, quality, and awareness, our, awareness mm -hmm. of the new product to invaders. Thank you Innovators. very much. So what do you think what? this is? Uh, it says this that the new product is brought into the market. Guys, any this idea? Match with market introduction. Market introduction. Market yeah, right. Introduction. Market okay. introduction. Yeah, right. Intro, it's broad. So yes, okay. That definitely okay. matches here. Letter C. I can must know is today. Iris, uh, are you around, Iris? The growth in sales decreases because there are many competitors. Mm -hmm. Market saturation occurs. Mm -hmm. The marketing efforts go yes. to differentiate the products and price might be lower than in the previous stage. Thank you very much. All right, guys, what is this? The growth in sales decreases. What do you think? Um. I think mat maturity. Oh, is it? Okay. So let me match it here. Guys, luego revisamos, no problems. So we are just uh, putting them or matching them in case um, we can get them correctly. So no worries. And let's go with letter D. So Andrea, please let's uh, help us with letter D. Okay. The new product registers an increase in demand because more customers accept it. The sales start to grow and there is little competition. Ah, oh, very good. Uh, so guys, it says that there is an increase in demand. What is that? Growth. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, that will be growth, right? So there is a higher demand uh, because more customers accept that product. Okay, so there you see, the sales start to grow. So las ventas crecen y tenemos esta palabra that says the growth in sales. So el crecimiento. If you take sales. a look, you have the two words right there. Um, guys, just help me. Uh, help me with a couple of words that we have here. Give me a second. Okay, there we go. So, guys, just help me with the pronunciation. Please repeat with me. Awareness. 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 Aware. Awareness. Aware. Competitor. 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 Competitors. Innovate. 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 Sales. 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 Very nice. I really like these words. Uh, awareness and aware. Guys, uh, what is awareness? What is aware? It says quality and awareness of the new product to innovators. So awareness or aware is cuando estamos sabedores, conscientes, you know? So if you want to say, oh, estoy consciente de eso, aware. we say, I am aware, right? We use it a lot. Probably, um, so we normally say, I am aware, right? So are you aware of the Bitcoin price? Oh, I am aware. Yo ya lo sé. Estoy consciente, right? I know about it. And we have the word awareness, que también la utilizamos that way, como concientización. That is the word that you will see there. Uh, so we have innovate or innovators, and we have sales. Uh, later, guys, vamos a trabajar con estos a little bit more. But we have one more activity uh, that we're going to be doing today. Uh, obviously, I want you to use all of this vocabulary. Al inicio puede ser un poquito, you know, kind of weird. But remember, porque estamos viendo palabras de este tipo. Because queremos subir de nivel básico a nivel intermedio. And necesitamos utilizar más vocabulario. We need to use more words more vocabulary, more expressions, 
Y este vocabulario es lo que nos va a dar, right? Vocabulario un poquito más técnico, más business related, más, you know, um, specific things uh, that we can talk about. And guys, for the next activity, we are going to be doing this. Here we have, um, select the topic below and present advantages and disadvantages. Yesterday, estábamos hablando de algunos productos that are discontinued, products that existed in the past, but they no longer exist. And some other products have been modified with the time. So uh, for example, here we have libel, right? Uh, in the past, obviously it was different. Now we have different type of light bulbs. Light bulbs son las bombillas, right? The ones that we use for electricity. Telephone. Do you remember the first telephones, guys? Uh, or cell phones, you know, that teníamos que subirnos al techo or to the mango tree para agarrar señal. I don't know if you had one of those with a big antenna, right? And all that stuff. Y ahora cell phones are completely different, right? They are super small. You can have, you can even do it in your computer. You can have phone calls. Refrigerator. No sé si alguien tuvo una refrigeradora antigua, but I remember the first was a freezer. So, recuerdo que antes, you know, long, long time ago, eran las, um, how do you call them? The coolers. Uh, When you go to the beach, you take a cooler. Um, yeah, oh my God. Yes, thank you. Exactly. <laughs> so there was no electricity in some parts. So we took a cooler, right? Y se le ponía, I don't know, creo que se mantenía en heladas. I don't remember much. De las de dura. Las yes, maritas. yes, exactly. So I yeah. had a cooler like a long time ago. And now you have different kind of things. So um, obviously, todos esos han ido cambiando. They have been, um, I don't know, they have been modified, they have evolved, but yesterday you mentioned there are advantages and there are disadvantages. No todo es bueno, no todo es malo. So what are the advantages and disadvantages? Guys, vamos a trabajarlo en grupo. We are going to select this as a group. Eh, I want you to select one topic de todos los que están acá, el que les interese más, like paper, wheel. Um, so, ¿cuáles son las ventajas de la rueda, right? Now you got cars, you got motorcycle, but ¿hay alguna desventaja? Is there any disadvantage of the wheel creator? So, podemos usar algunas palabras que acabamos de revisar, like growth, growing, appeal, appealing, etc. And try to use more words, more vocabulary. Entre más utilicemos, mucho mejor. Uh, sounds the way we speak. Uh, so guys, vamos a armar grupos pequeños. Give me just a moment. Because quiero que todos participen. I want everybody to participate. Um, creo que solo Gaby estaba en camino en Delmi que es, tenemos de oyente and I believe uh, uh, let me see creo oh, que no, no, right. oh creo que Helen, uh, Helen estaba trabajando I believe and uh, I'm I'm not. oh you're back nice great 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 okay perfect so give me just a moment so los demás creería que you are here. And uh, we are going to try to make super tiny groups, um, super, super small groups, para que podamos, you know, participar as much as possible. Um, guys, no les pido una presentación PowerPoint or anything, um, pero sí, you know, let's try to make, let's try to speak as much as possible advantages and disadvantages because vamos a presentar el tema tomorrow. So let's get you know, uh, ready for that. Guys, vámonos a los grupos. Let's go to the groups. Select only one from here, please. So let's go. Let me see. Yes, it's ready.
Alrighty, guys. Thanks a lot for coming back. Creo que me faltan algunas. I think I'm missing a couple of guys here. Okay, so uh, what topic did you select? I just got a Daniel uh, Andreas group. Uh, so that was the thermometer, Carlos group, um, and Helen. That was uh, the telephone or cell phone in this case. Guys, uh, the rest of the groups, uh, ¿qué seleccionaron? What did you select? Light bulb. Oh, light Wow, light bulb. Okay, interesting. Me llama la atención mucho las disadvantages de light bulb. Okay. Uh, guys, and the rest of the groups, ¿qué seleccionaron, guys? What did you select? Telephone, of course. Okay, so you got telephone too. All right, let me say, Carlos, Adolfo, Andreas, Imendez. Uh, Rafa, what was your group's uh, topic? I see you were with Gabi and Imelda. Printing. Uh, printing. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. So printing and uh, Angelica. George was cell phone. You said right. Telephone. Telephone. Okay. So telephone with uh, Noemi. And uh, okay. Perfect. Okay, guys. Vamos a presentarles el día de mañana. We are going to be presenting tomorrow. Uh, part of the advantages and disadvantages because. In that way, pueden también leer un poquito más. You can read, you can check some vocabulary, some information, and we can discuss this, you know, openly. Guys, antes de irnos, solamente give me one moment. Me ayudan, please, con su camarita. And uh, let me go over attendance super quick. And uh, y me regalan confirmación verbal, please, para que nos quede siempre en la grabación. So, Adolfo. Adolfo estaba acá hace un segundo. Andrea. I'm here. Thank you so much. Carlos. Acabo de escuchar a Carlos. There he is. Christian. Yes. teacher, sorry. No worries. Thank you. I'm here. Thank you so much. Uh, Demi was sick. Uh, Helen. Present. Thank you. Espero que siga mejor, Miss. Present. I hope you get better. Uh, thank you, Imelda. Present. Thank you, Miss. Iris. Present. Iris. Thank you so much. Uh, Arnoldo, I think Arnoldo is working. Kenya. Yeah, Kenya today. Uh, Angelica. Present. Thank you, Miss. Gabby. Here. Thank Present. you. Noemi. I'm here. Thank you so much. Rafael. Present. Thank you. Margarita. No sé por qué Margarita le digo Ceci, you know. Eh, Judy. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Miss. And Daniel. Present, teacher. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, Adolfo, no se preocupe. Ya, ya lo tomé acá. I already okay. took it here. Okay, guys. Uh, thanks a lot. So, el día de mañana vamos a presentar, right, eh, las advantages and disadvantages del tema que escogieron. Have a wonderful night, guys. And solamente eh, regálame un par de minutitos, please. I'll go with Noemi. So, gracias chicos. Nos vemos mañana. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, bye, Have a bye. wonderful night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. See, see you. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Give me just a moment, miss. Okay. There we go. Uh, gracias, Noemi. Le voy a quitar un par de minutitos here. Mm -hmm. And okay. le comento por qué uh, le pedí que nos acompañara tú. Normalmente, uh, dentro del módulo, eh, brindamos como minutos personalizados, let's say. Eh, no es lo mismo tener a los eh, 20 participantes, a uh, uh, escuchar you know, sus necesidades, saber cómo le podemos eh, ayudar. 
eh, conocer un poquito más de sus eh, objetivos you know, al estudiar inglés o si hay algún área específica donde le podamos eh, trabajar, you know, si siente que es más difícil speaking o reading o writing, so podemos dejarle actividades extra eh, para mejorar esa parte. Um, mm -hmm. Usted me comentaba que había estudiado hace poco, digamos, uh, inglés. So, um, de lo que he escuchado entre ayer y ahora, siento que se comunica bastante bien. So, tiene, you know, a good range of vocabulary. Um, eh, gramaticalmente ordena sus ideas muy bien, muy buena pronunciación, you know. Um, sí. Quizás diría solamente con un par de palabritas, eh, que uno se le olvida, right? Después de no practicarlo, es súper normal that we forget it. Eh, but of course, usted se conoce mejor que nadie. So I would like to know um, qué es lo que siente que, que, le, que le cuesta, con lo que tiene dificultades, you know, para partir desde ahí. Eh, ¿Usted está estudiando inglés porque es algo personal o um, está aplicando alguna beca de maestría, you know, pregrado o something like that? No, fíjese que eh, en mi caso, eh, la oficina sí necesitamos el inglés. O sea, mm. No es porque la, la empresa nos lo requiera, sino okay. que ellos nos ofrecen y nosotros aceptamos, ¿verdad? Pero claro. no nos obligan a tenerlo. Eh, y es como cuestión de mejorar. O solamente cuestión de mejorar. De, a veces uno, bueno, mi jefe tiene reuniones a la par mía en inglés y así como que uno se queda... Algunas cosas sí, obviamente las entiendo y otras no. Y lo que quizás como a todos nos, nos afecta es la pronunciación. Mm. Yo realmente siento que lo que me hemos impuesto es eso y el vocabulario. Siento que necesito todavía mejorar el vocabulario porque me cuesta recordar algunas palabras. Ah, ok. Cuando me hice recordar... Eh... Le cuesta como vocabulario o palabras eh, de uso normal, de uso diario, o eh, palabras que definitivamente cuando hablamos de... Ajá, ok. Pero palabras, palabras que usa o que normalmente no usa. Que normalmente casi no usa, como dice la gente, palabras rebuscadas a veces, pero no, o sea, son cosas que, que a veces me cuesta como... Pronunciar, okay. pronunciar más que todo. Ok, so it is pronunciation. Um, ok, mm -hmm. vamos, eh, entonces vamos a hacer algo adicional. Normalmente nosotros eh, completamos la plataforma en Insafor nos pide que completemos el 80% para tener una nota aprobatoria, right? But mm -hmm. lo que hacemos es brindar actividades o digamos tareas adicionales eh, para uh -huh. eh, trabajar cosas específicas. O so, sea, vamos a, a trabajar un ejercicio. Usted está en el grupo uh -huh. de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Sí. Vale, permítame, aquí me voy a second. Déjame ver si la encuentro here. Para de una sola vez. Send you the exercise. Mm. Pero no la encuentro. Eh, ¿Cuáles son los últimos dos dígitos, Miss, de su número? 2026. No tengo foto, así que no me da. Uy, pero no la encuentro. That's de verdad. Ah, yo la encontré. I got you. 2026. Okay. So, lo que vamos a hacer es this. Le voy a escribir ahorita and le voy a enviar un ejercicio de pronunciación. ¿Alguna vez hizo algo que se llama shadowing? No. ¿Está familiarizado? No, ok. No, 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 no me suena right. eso. Ok, le comento cuál es la técnica de shadowing. Um, es bastante fácil, I would say. Es súper, súper easy. Se Deme un segundo, que okay. esto está cargando. So, um, de lo que se trata shadowing es precisamente hacer los ejercicios como cuando nosotros aprendemos español. Cuando somos niños, en the, tenemos... Um, por ejemplo, here, y empezamos a hablar, nosotros hacemos algo que es como arremedar a alguien más, right? Mm -hmm. So, si él lo dijo de una pronunciación específica, intentamos nosotros hacer lo mismo. Shadowing es eso. So, vamos a intentar aplicar un poquito de la técnica de shadowing. Uh, por ejemplo, si yo digo, the product is no longer attractive for many customers. Lo que usted va a hacer es copiar calcar, imitar mi pronunciación 
mi velocidad y sobre todo la musicalidad. So, inglés tiene como sonido, you know? como, como distingue usted que es salvadoreño, que es guatemalteco, es que tienen un acento, un cantadito, right? Entonces en inglés hacemos lo mismo. El ejercicio que usted escuche, uh, primero, las palabras no son tan difíciles porque son como de todos los días, pero eh, vamos a intentar copiar cómo ellos dicen esa expresión. So, for example, um, le voy a leer un pedacito acá. And uh, intente copiarme, you know. La misma velocidad, la misma musicalidad, la misma pronunciación. No le puedo mostrar el ejercicio por copyright. <ríe> ok, pero vamos a hacerlo con el ejercicio que tenemos acá. Okay. So, la letra B dice, at this stage, a new product is brought into the market. Ahora se repítamelo casi igual, you know, okay. intentando copiarlo, calcándolo. Ok, at this stage, a new product is brought, brought in the mark, into the market. Ok, una vez más. At this stage, a new product is brought into the market. At this stage, a new product is brought into the market. Ok, una vez más, ahora cópeme la, la sonoridad, la musicalidad de la expresión. At this stage, a new product is brought into the market. At this stage, is a new product is brought into the market. There you go. So, a eso se le llama shadowing. Es okay. copiar o calcar lo que alguien dice. Obviamente, la primera vez hay unos sonidos que we don't get them. Entonces, eh, pero está ahí, you know, y lo podemos practicar, repetir, repetir, hasta que nos salga bonito. Lo que vamos a hacer con este ejercicio es lo siguiente. Escúchelo cuántas veces necesite, porque también está la escritura. So no va a tener mayor dificultad con eso. Hay algunos sonidos, como acá, a this stage, que se unen. Entonces, en el ejercicio, usted va a escuchar que han unido sonidos. Practiquemos esa unión, porque se da bien seguido. Okay. And, uh, necesito que se grabe. Cuando termine de escucharlo, de practicarlo, es un, un minuto nada más, no es largo. Eh, grábese, ok, puede estar con la computadora, lo imprime como usted guste, whatever works for you. Grabe el audio, right? De tal manera que tarde exactamente el mismo tiempo. So, para que también vayamos trabajando la parte de fluidez, right? So, vamos a trabajar fluency, pronunciation, vocabulary, en caso que encuentre palabras nuevas. En esto que es el linking sounds, vamos a unir sonidos también. Cuando ya lo tenga listo, no es para ahorita, no es para que se vaya a desvelar. No, cuando, okay. sino, por ejemplo, si tiene tiempo en la hora del almuerzo, son unos cinco minutitos, you know, um, trabaja el ejercicio, right? Y cuando ya lo tenga listo, me envíe el audio, send it over to me. Me lo pueden ver en okay. WhatsApp porque es mucho más práctico, right? Okay, It's more practical. Okay, está bien. Um, si le funciona this way, si vemos que este ejercicio le funciona con pronunciación, que le funciona con fluidez, con vocabulary, podemos, you know, ir avanzando y eh, buscando más ejercicios similares o ver si lo cambiamos a alguna otra historia o solo listening o qué cambios podemos ver para que también eh, usted vaya eh, mejorando, right, esa parte de pronunciación que me comento. Uh -huh. Ok, so, está bien. Le agradezco uh, mucho. Ya saben, mis cualquier cosa, acá estamos, you know, and uh, a veces tardo en contestar, pero si tiene alguna dificultad, duda, question, eh, let me know y vemos cómo la solventamos. So, okay. gracias por su tiempo, Noemi. Uh, gracias, much, That would be it. Gracias, Miss, por conectarse súper temprano, por estar pendiente, por la camarita and everything. Y sí. espero que, que, you know, se sientan parte del grupo durante todo el sí. módulo. So, I okay. hope so. All right. Thank Gracias, you. Miss. Thank you. You're Good welcome. Night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.